welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in this video we are going to learn about strategic approach to software testing topic in the subject of software engineering so simply uh, to tell you in a simple way you will be basically learning about introduction to testing what are the characteristics of testing and what are the main things that you focus on testing and all those things you will be learning okay so what is testing first of all in, in the SDLC, first you'll gather the requirements. Once you gather the requirements, you'll come up with a design. Once design is done, you'll do the coding. And after coding, you have to test it, right? Whatever code you have written, whether that code is correct or not, whether that code is doing the proper functionality or not, that one you have to test, right? So that is what you do in the testing phase, okay? So it is nothing but it is a process of evaluating a software application to identify if it meets the requirements and also to identify if there are any defects in the software whether all the requirements are satisfied or not whether we are able to achieve everything or not the user wanted a website okay which can do everything from ordering to payment to tracking everything everything should be done so whether you implemented all the requirements or not and are there any defects whatever software or whatever application you have done are there any defects in that that also will be identified in the testing okay and it will take more effort than any other software activity when compared to coding when compared to everything that will this will take a lot of effort because you'll have to think about so many things okay whether everything is satisfied or not that you have to check all the checks have to be done next okay let's say uh, let's say you you have a username field okay or or let's say you have password field okay this is the password field so when you're trying to set up a password it will have like you know uh, minimum characters required one alphabet is required one number is required one symbol is required all these will be there right so you have to test all these scenarios whether it is working for all these scenarios or not if you don't give number whether it is working or it is throwing some error what kind of error it is throwing all these scenarios you have to keep on testing so it will take a lot of effort and almost takes 40 percent of the project cost as well okay and usually a testing strategy is developed by project manager, software engineers, test specialists, all these people will sit together and they'll develop what, what strategy had to be followed. First, what you have to test. Next, what you have to test. What all things you have to test. What all scenarios you have to test. Everything will be developed by these people. Okay. It has test planning. It has test case design. It has test case execution. All these steps are involved in this. Test case means what? So as, as, as I told just now password example, so whether it is taking numbers or not, I mean, if you don't give a number in your password, let us say your password is hello uh, at the rate uh, world. Okay, this is your password. So your password has capital letter, your password has symbol, but your password doesn't have a number. So if you give this kind of password, it is taking or not test whether this password is accepting or not. Okay. Uh, and if at all if it is not accepting what message what error message it is showing to the customer so that is one test case like that you will come up with n, n number of test cases as per your application and you will execute each and every test case okay next what are the characteristics of test strategy i mean how the test strategy should be there they should begin at a component level and come cover the entire system component level means each individual component each individual functionality should be tested and it should gradually keep increasing so individually you have to test everything and on a bigger scale also you have to test whether everything is working together or not when you combine everything also is it the same functionality or not okay next it also should include debugging and it is usually conducted by developers and also testing teams both will be involved okay and we have two main things which are focused in testing okay first one is verification and second one is validation so let us see what verification is and what validation is first one is verification so verification is nothing but it is set of activities that will ensure that the software is correctly implement i mean the software correctly implements a specific function that means are we building the product right i mean like are we doing it in a correct way or not it is a set of activities to ensure software is software correctly implements a specific function okay 
whether that function is right or not is not is not what we are thinking about it. whether the functionality that we are developing is this correct or not we are not checking are we do are we developing it in a correct way or not that is what is, is will be checked in the verification in validation what you will do it refers to the set of activities to ensure that the software built is traceable to the customer requirements that is it is according to the customer requirements simple word okay it is according to the customer requirements that means here we are checking if you are let us say you are developing a functionality okay whether you are developing the correct functionality or not okay if if you are developing a calculator then what plus symbol should do it has to add two things whether it is adding two things or not or it is performing any other operation that you will be checking here okay this is about verification and validation these two are the very very main important things in testing okay you will you will verify and validate the application okay so this is about the basic basic introduction to testing okay in the next coming videos let us see what are the different types of testing we have and what are the different types of like what are the steps involved and everything we will be seeing in the next videos what is debugging everything we will learn in the next coming videos don't worry about that okay so yeah guys this is all about this video and uh, let me know if you have any questions i'll definitely try to clear up all your questions in the comment section or in somehow okay and yeah thanks for watching the video till the end <laughs>